I want you to understand this, that every day messages are being broadcasted through this dimension. Now, a lot of times when we talk about broadcasting, we tend to think about the news or we tend to think about media. That's what we tend to think about. But even in that regard, where do you think those messages come from? It comes from somebody, right? But somebody had to get that information from somewhere. That somewhere is from a thought. I want you to understand this one thing, that there are messages being broadcasted out through the heavens. And here's the rub on it. It's either going to get you blessings in your life or curses in your life. You can decide. See, inauthentic people have tried for years to hide the fact that you are that powerful. <laughs> they mask things in the form of entertainment, sports, and all these things to keep you in a coma. But when you have an awakening, you finally realize it has to be more to life than this. And I want you to know that you are the bridge to unseen things in this environment. See, all the time, all the time, every day, every second of the day, messages are being broadcasted out into this atmosphere. Those messages will enter into your mind to make you think that you thought that on your own. But I want you to understand that the enemy will mask himself in a thought and he will feed that to you to make you think about that. I want you to understand that you can look out into your world today to see what messages are being broadcasted out into this environment in physical matter. When you see violence and you see hate and you see wars and you see things that are not good things, then you already understand what message that person picked up to push out. I want you to understand that at this time, it's so very important that you link up to the heavenly divine network. I want you to understand that God is broadcasting so much good into your mind that the devil don't want you to hear it. I want to say that one more time. God is broadcasting so much good in your mind that the devil don't want you to hear it. That's why negative thoughts scream so loud because the devil knows that if you could ever lift up your mind enough, expand your mind enough to really receive what you're supposed to hear from above, the world will begin to change. I want you to know your power today. It is important that you understand that you are a human projector in this environment. See, you are the only being on this planet that can think about something so long that it will begin to take form and show up. You are the only human being in this planet, the only species in this planet, baby, that can speak a word and later on look up and it will manifest in your life. You are the only species in this planet whose mind is so heavily sophisticated and connected to unseen things that when you think about something, circumstances will begin to, to bend and to turn and to twist and show themselves to you. You are the only human being in this dimension that can speak a word into the atmosphere and your word claps back at you. You are the only one that has the power to do it. You are our human projector. I want you to think about that. Think about your power today. Think about how privileged you are to know this information. Thank God that you have awakened from your slumber and know that you are awakened to bring about change. You were awakened so that you could pick up the right broadcast, to pick up the right thought, the right message, and put some emotion and feeling behind it and some action behind it and get it into this atmosphere. God is relying on you as a human projector to project the kingdom of heaven. What is the kingdom of heaven? Things that are peaceful and joyous, things that are loving and kind things that are beautiful, things where people are loving. No, no selfishness, selflessness, forgiveness, wholeness, pure bliss. That's what the kingdom is all about. Not hate, not anger, not, you know, depression, sadness, fighting, just doing disastrous things. That's picking up a message from hell that you are projecting 
out in this environment. It is up to you to decide what you want to see more of because the moment that you decide what you want to see more of and you believe it and you feel it without a doubt, it will be broadcasted out through you because you are the human projector. And into the next video, guys, Mwah. peace, because I believe in you. Bye now.